Good evening. You're listening to the podcast, episode Podcast is recorded in front of a live chat room audience. Now you know what's hitting me inside. Cut my stomach like metal butterflies. Oh, good days. For I knew what happened to lies. just fearful that Caroline's going to hiccup at some point during this particular outro. That was All My Friends Hate Me with My Bad. Ever tried to help someone and it backfires? Because that's pretty much sums up. That pretty much sums up what this song is about. We have played All My Friends Hate Me before, though we played their track Not My Problem on episode 566 back in June of 2019. And this was another track taken from their 2019 debut album, Metal Butterflies. Now, actually, I wanted to play another one of their tracks called Blood, but it was full of swearies. Not that that seems to bother Caroline at all, as you'll find out (coughs) soon um, when she introduces her next track. You can find out more about all... What? Um, I've got something to say about that in a sec. Well, you can wait. And you can find out more about All My Friends Hate Me over at allmyfriendshateme.com. And they're from Nashville in Tennessee. So, despite what Dave says... There is actually no swearing in the next track. However, <sighs> it is very clear what the music dipping was covering. So just in case, we're putting out the little jingle, in case it does offend sensitive ears, but it is an awesome track. This is Alfonso Lugo with Hot AF featuring E. Twist. Hello, my name is Amy. My name is Carla. The next track... Contains language or subject matter that may offend sensitive ears. Listener discussion is advised. Do you understand any word that you said? No. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> You can let go Vamos mami, that you know that we can let it flow On the bedroom or the dance 
dance floor Bet your magic that can easy make my man blow All your skin glow, you get that wow Bien que sabes que sin más awful for you slow Vamos nena, venga dámelo Que me tienes embobado con tu resplandor Touch me harder and melt my core Your fire can burn me more You know how to turn me on Image of perfection baby You're just satisfaction lady Looking in my direction, you've been thinking about blessing me with your presence, so let's keep it real. We can take it slow and allow some time for the beat to build. I'll take you out on the town for a decent meal, see how I feel. On the coastline, let tequila spill on your Louis Hill. Sugar on your lips from the margarita. Let's keep it chill, but how you tempting me with your sex appeal and them curves on you? Girl, you hot as sh I'm at a loss for words on you. Touching your body, I'm trying to feel every nerve on you. Strawberries and whipped cream, dessert on you. Nice shift, I promise I go to work on you. Wake up in the morning, first thing I see is my shirt on you. Image of perfection, baby. You're just satisfaction, lady. Do you feel good with you, baby? Baby, you're hot as fuck. Baby, you're hot as fuck. Even if you're super bratty. Come on, let me be your daddy. Baby, I wanna eat your body. Lady, you're hot as fuck. Lady, you're hot as fuck. Can you sing me a song? What? Who is this? I want to hear a song. Get lost. And don't call again. Hello? Lady speaking? Can you sing me a song? Sorry, honey, I can't sing. But if you want to hear great tracks, you could try listening to the podcast every Friday night around 9.30pm UK time over at um, thebookcast.org slash live. Hmm. Thanks. I'll do that. You're very welcome. Wait for you get it all away. Wait until another day. Wait until I can get outside. Wait till I get you off my Like I'm in fifth grade when I'm with you 
And that was Christian Volchar with Fifth Grade, featuring The Spin Wires. Now, this was actually a remix of The Spin Wires track, Fifth Grade, that we played back on the uh, Buckcast episode 596 in January of 2020. What Christian did is he simply took the vocal track from the original and put his own musical arrangement to it. Very, very different to the original for certain. Thank you, Creative Commons. We played... Christian's track Shine on last week's show, but this was taken from the fifth of his collection of remixes called CC Mix. He's from Frankfurt in Germany, and you can find a whole lot more of his music over at his Jumendo profile, which we'll link to in our show notes over at thebugcast.org. Brilliant. And before that, it was Alfonso Lugo with Hot AF featuring A Twist from Los Angeles and California. Um, and like I say, we played the jingle because even though they didn't technically swear, it was incredibly obvious what the word should be. Um, Some liked it, some didn't. I was a liker, never mind. Um, Sexy Dancing Moves, Spanglish track, spiced it up with flavours of other genres. This is a song for all the hot girls out there inspired by their beauty. He's an award-winning songwriter, producer and artist and over the last five years his songs have been placed in numerous shows. Um, he's also, um, most recent accomplishment was a release with the Mexican artist stroke actress Regina Blandon titled Grave Dad or Gravidad. But probably Gravidad. Gravidad, yes. <laughs> Grave Dad might have different connotations. Gravidad. Um, yes. You can find out more by checking out alfonsolugomusic.com and he definitely has a wide range. I think that's the only one of his tracks that I've seen that was teetering on the edge of was it swearing or not. All the others are pretty pop, pop on, bob on. Bob, Bob on. on, yes, Bob, Bob on. on, yes. Well, so keen were you to play that track. Um, I know you were keen. You were going to think about playing it last week, but it had you... to be in the right yeah, place no, on the no, show. And I totally get that. But so keen were you to play this track that we forgot to even announce what this show was called. Hey, well, we never actually said you're listening to the podcast. Did I not say that? No, you did it as the the, the intro, but then after the first song. We usually do like a welcome, oh, we well, have that, music. That, that's your job, so you're no, the... No, nah, but you, nah, nah. you stamped all over <laughs> my face to get this track played. Don't you? You, you, you? you were just prepared to do anything to make sure this track got played and that nothing could stop it. But to be fair, I think people know who we are, so whatever. Yeah, so, if they don't of, know who we are by now, they've got no hope. Unless in, they're a star, you know, new listener. So let's say who's in the chat room. But, but please. <laughs> right. So there is Fat Freddy. I have seen my stray show a little bit earlier. Chris from Canada. I don't know why I say it that way. Canada. Every week. Peter every Patterson, single week. Peter Patterson. I've seen George. Um, I've seen Amy Hussey. 
Um, we've got anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yeah, I am scrolling. I'm scrolling as fast as, <laughs> fast as possible. Um, oh, I think that's it. See, oh, Yannick! A... Yay! Hey, here's a great idea. What you could do is, as you see people talking in the chat. You could write their names down. Do you know, I wish I'd said this before. I wonder why I haven't. Because the last time I did that, you took the mickey out of me of doing that, so I can't win. I I, either... It was me that suggested it. Yes, but then you made a big deal of pointing out to people that I'd done it, so I refused to do it. Because it was a good thing to do, and I was proud of my suggestion that you followed and then But you dissed. didn't make me feel proud. You made it. You, you, you sounded like you were dobbing in on me. Oh, that's only because they wrote it down. <laughs> Sorry, it's only because they wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me You pick on me all Announce the, the next song Oh is it me to announce <laughs> <laughs> On a completely different Caroline track Caroline has not had any beer this evening No I but think, I've I ended think up, that should change I did get subjected to a kids play area For the first time since the start of the pandemic uh, And that was Yeah That'll do it every time So Luke Davids with Fighting for Control all that I wanted to be
Hey, it's Chris from Canada, you know, the host of Insomnia Radio Canada. Did you know that back in 2009, this very podcast you're listening to right now, the Bugcast, this amazing music podcast, is where I got my start? I started listening here. That's right, you're in the best spot to be listening to the Bugcast. So it's a good job we already had uh, agreed to put the explicit tag on this show because a sweary sneaked in that I wasn't expecting. Uh, after, thought, after all the hassle I got for a not sweary and being uber conscientious just in case it was construed as a sweary, you let in the F-bomb. Woo! 
Uh, actually, you let in 17, but you know, <laughs> let's not argue that. How long ago was that? How long no. ago was that? About 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted like, the Black Bones <laughs> no, song. No, not the Black Bones song, no. No, I've forgotten about that one. Because I had there was no F bombs in my song. Oh yes, the word it was what the <laughs> whole word was. Indeed. That didn't get said. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it was a cracking track. That was the sunset sunset vibe with Mulberry Tree. The Sunset Vibe is an independent rock and folk music project launched by Julian Poirier in 2013. Seven years later, the band is now composed well, eight years later technically, of Julian, Paul Blanford, Pup. Pat Bulger, 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 don't know, and Ben Bulger. That track was taken from their 2020 EP entitled Dream Notes. Excellent. And Chris from Canada will be very happy to know. And I didn't, it, it was accidental, not accidental, incidental, that I played her bumper before this track because they're actually from Winnipeg in Manitoba, Canada. Yeah, but that's yeah. probably nowhere near where Chris is. I would, I would Canada's imagine. a big place. Canada's a huge place. Canada has the most coastline of any country in the entire world. Mm-hmm. Even more than Russia, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I've got an October vibe. Peter Patterson thinks that because it's October, I've had a dark side, you know, letting in a sweary, non-sweary song. It and wasn't a non-sweary song. It, my, my song did not technically swear. And I just did a bite me gif of a donut. Of a donut doing twerking. <laughs> it works. You have to see it for yourself. It anyway, works. we digress. Yes. Before that, I, you like, digress. like the track name, I am fighting for control. See what I did there? <laughs> that was Luke Davids with fighting for control. From Orlando in Florida. Orlando? Oh, made a new name. Orlando in Florida. A keyboard-based emotional neo-power battle with strong male vocals and an uplifting chorus is it's what he says. What did I say? A neo-power battle. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure you meant ballad. <laughs> neo-power ballad. Oof. Do you know what? I'm drinking a pint right now, but it's of milk. Mm-hmm. So there's no excuse. No. You can find out more about Luke Davids, who we have played before, at lukedavids.com. Fantastic. I well, think the last track of his we played, I thought he sounded a little bit as Mr. Bublé. I remember you saying that at the time, and I remember disagreeing with you. Although I could kind of pick up the um, the, the 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 vibe, and there's a, there's a particular style that Bublé has, very reminiscent of 1940s, 1950s crooners. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, I wasn't picking that up from Lou David's. Not that particular track, but the last track we played, it was quite that maybe, same thing. Maybe, maybe. Yep, yep, yep. It's all in the ears of the beholder. In, indeed it is. Yeah. Right, a couple of things to mention uh, at this point in the show. The first one, I'm actually going to sort these two around. Let's do the uh, the, the, the sad one first. Um, is the very sudden um, murder of Sir David Ames, who was a Conservative MP here in the UK. Uh, he was holding a... A constituency surgery uh, here in his in his constituency in, Ex- in Essex, uh, and was seemingly um, randomly stabbed. Yep, yeah, which sadly is exactly what happened with Joe Cox. It was at a surgery or on the way out of a surgery what? that that happened. Yeah, I think it was. So, so my guess is this will call into question security of MPs. And the sad thing is, most MPs won't have been able to do surgeries recently because of COVID-19. Right. So they're only just starting to do them again. So the sad thing is, this probably wasn't a a spur-of-the-moment thing. This is probably something that somebody's been planning to do for a while and has to be patient. Or at least gearing up to. Yeah. Even if not planning it. Which is really sad because that means that people that genuinely need to see MPs are going to struggle. Hmm. For the fear of the 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 evil few, as it were. Yeah, absolutely. So this is obviously has echoes of the murder of Joe Cox back in 2016, um, as you quite rightly said. But what's really interesting is that Boris Johnson came out in the 
uh, in the news earlier on. He made an, an announcement about it and called um, Sir David one of the kindest, nicest, most gentle people in politics. And as I seem to recall, people said the same thing about Joe Cox when, when she was killed. Yeah. So, I mean, say what you like about politicians. At the end of the day, they are still human beings. And you get good politicians and bad politicians. That is a fact of life. And but to be nobody, fair, yes, nobody deserves that. You get good and bad, yes. But it doesn't matter if they're in the good camp or the bad camp. Like you say, not, neither of those categories warrant what happened. No, no, absolutely. It's it's just, there's, there's no excuse for it. It's just awful. Mm. Um, I mean, he was 69. He's, he's devoted his life to politics. I might not be a fan of their, his side, but as in I don't share his party politics, but I have no doubt that he would have been dedicated to his job because at the end of the day, that's what politics is, isn't it? It's people's views, life views. Yeah. Um, And in in effect... There is not actually a right or wrong. There is your right and your wrong, but there's not a universal right and universal wrong. Because if there was, we'd never have political parties that argue with each other. We'd never need elections because there would always be the same people in power. Nobody would disagree. Exactly. And it's that disagreement that gets stuff done. Yeah. And that whole nobody would ever disagree would be more like a fascism. Well, it would be... You'll believe Utopia. what I tell you. To exactly, believe. it'll be it'll be nineteen eighty four style um, society, which yeah, nobody wants that. No, except the people that want it to happen. Okay, that kind of made no sense, but you you know what I'm trying to get at. It's not it. It's what is wanted by a very select few, not by the masses. Ra. There you go. I I, I say right. job bacon. Move it. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on from that um, to a fairly concerning piece of news um, relating to our eldest child, who will, in a few days' time, turn 16. Mm. How did that happen? Well. No, don't even start. When a mummy no, no, musical no, and a daddy I knew, love bug. I knew you were going to say that. Each very much. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> No, nope, special cuddles do not need to be mentioned. But, uh, yeah, um, as each day goes past, the, uh, the, the inevitability of um, Getting old. their 16th birthday is, uh, is becoming more and more real. Not only are they now receiving birthday cards, they've also received a letter from the bank that we are currently holding a, an account for them in trust. Telling them about GDPR. <clears throat> Telling them about GDPR and what they are doing with, with their data. So, <laughs> it, um, shiz got real, I think is probably the phrase or close to it. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. It now, really will. For those who aren't going through what we're going through because you haven't got a child about to turn 16, um, this may shock you. There is a new film version of Scream, the movie, mm. being released uh, in 2022. This is Scream 5, is it? Or is yep. it a reboot? And in the trailer it says, 25 years since the original. And I'm like, no. I was like, yep. yep uh, no, yep, yep. you were going, la, 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 la. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I realised, I used to watch something like BMX Bandit with Nicole Kidman years ago, and that's like 38 years old. Mm-hmm. That's only eight, four years old Four years younger than me. Yep. That's scary. scary. Oh, inter- interesting, they're, they're just calling it Scream. Yes. Well, <clears throat> by the looks of the trailer, the original three, as in Sydney, Gail Weathers and, and Dewey, Dewey yep. are in it. Uh, uh, with the original actors. And at least one of the victims in this new round, or targets, is a younger descendant of Sydney and a younger descendant of Gail Weathers. Ah. Not sure about Dewey, but it looks like there's familial links. Interesting. So and I do want to add a little factoid, which may actually lose us a listener. <gasps> um, one of the characters in 
the new Scream, the one that comes out next year, is called Richie Kirsch and is played by Jack Quaid. It's a name that I recognise, so I went to look him up. Is he related to Randy Quaid? He is not. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's related to Randy Quaid. That wasn't actually where I was going with it. Where I was going with it is Jack Quaid is also the voice of um, Brad Boimler. Hey, Boimler. (laughs) Ensign Brad Boimler. Boimler, Boimler, Boimler. (laughs) From? Lower Decks. Lower Decks. So it's been great to have you listening, Yannick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 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 now they were talking about Kirk in the chat room. Mm. We must, we must um, reflect the fact that William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk, has indeed visited space. Gone where almost no man has gone before. It was up there for 10 minutes. And he is now the record holder as the oldest man to have visited space. Wow. Although, how you define space? I'm not entirely sure. At 10 minutes, it's quite a little line there, isn't there? How well, so? As in, the Jeff Bezos ones go up, spend 10 minutes going, ooh, and come back down. The um, Elon Musk one kind of rotated for a couple of days. So my guess is that a little bit of um, oh, you did ten minutes, I did days, um, going on. So there yeah, you go. But he's also not ninety something. No, but yeah, ninety years old. Wow! And mm. really weirdly, I watched a little clip of him being interviewed by an American newscast. I don't know who they were, and they were like, oh, "We're so excited, Captain Kirk's going to space." You've done it before, though. He's like, yeah, that wasn't actually um, space. That was... Yes. Look up fiction in the yeah. uh, dictionary. <laughs> Dull. Reality. Not reality. Not reality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something in between. Yes. Anyway. So, yes. It is going to be next track time, and we're going to play Ionian Smile with Pebble. Friday nights, 9.30pm UK time at thebookcast.org.
Vegas, baby. Izzy Grace with Without You. That was confusing. Post breakup Bop empowering you to embrace who you really are and not to be shaped by a toxic relationship. Izzy Grace is a self produced queer electro pop artist busy writing downbeat pop music about mental health and, well, a lack of love life. Inspired by Oh Wonder, Silver Sphere, and Billie Eilish. That was a track that was released as a single in 2020. She's from London in the UK, and you can find out more about her and her music over at uh, facebook.com forward slash igracemusic. Excellent. And before that, it was Ionian Smile with Pebble. From Italy, and all I can tell you is they're an alt-rock band from Italy. They seem to have no social media presence, and I've linked their Demenda profile. I wish I could tell you more. Fair enough. Okie dokes, we have one more track to play, which Caroline will tell us about very shortly. A few pieces of housekeeping. First off, and probably the most important piece of news we will ever tell you um, in the, well, ever, uh, is there was a new episode of the main show of Insomnia Radio released earlier this week. Now, why would I tell you about this? Well, because we hosted it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and it was basically a, a bit of a trip down memory lane for us. We played 
some of the classic tracks that we've played on the Bugcast over the last um, 12 or so years, as Caroline quite really pointed out. Um, the, the, the show itself was very much a let's press the button and see what happens. But we had fun doing it, and it's really, really good to um, to to know that we're we're playing this this kind of music, the music that you know you guys have heard before, but other people may not have done um, on a brand new platform. So thanks ever so much to Chris from Canada for giving us the opportunity to play some great music on Insomnia Radio. The jury's out as to whether we'll be invited back again. I'm not sure whether we were good enough for it. You seem increasingly convinced that we won't be. No, I know we will, but I'm just, you know, it's it's called humility. Um, But yeah, it was great. Go over to insomniaradio.net and look up the IR main show 196 um, and you can have a listen to to the show that we did. While you're there, check out the other shows they've got Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe to pretty much everything you can find. Yes, yes, do that. Okay, um, in two weeks' time, at the time of recording, on Saturday the 30th of October, from 6pm UK time, uh, which will be UTC by the time we get to that point, I think. Do you know what? I think I argued with myself this time before. It won't be. It will be still be British summertime. Um, so GMT plus one will be the autumn pod crawl jitsi. So we're doing our usual thing, um, setting up at six o'clock, and just come along and natter with us. Bring drinks if you wish to. It's entirely up to you. Bring your own drinks because we will not provide them for you. Um, full details of where we will be be published on tuxjam.otherside.network slash podcrawl nearer the time. So please do come along. They're, they're always great events. We always have a really good turnout. What was um, the date again? Uh, Saturday the 30th of October. Cool. Oh, the day before Halloween. The day before Halloween. Ooh. and. You hesitated, and I was like, you're not going to tell me we're doing something, are you? <laughs> um, oh, thank you very much indeed to Peter for posting the link into our chat room over the podcast at slash telegram. Um, but no, we, we don't have anything that evening apart from the pod crawl. So, yes, looking forward to that. Excellent. And the very last thing to tell you uh, in this particular part of the show is we are getting very close now to our Listener's Choice episode. Episode 700 will be sometime in January of 2022. It's only 15 episodes away, so it's not that long. So have a think about the music we've played so far since episode 653 and make notes because we are asking you to let us know what your favourite tracks have been uh, since episode 653 and all the tracks that are submitted will be compiled into a huge great listener's choice show um, at uh, episode 700. So if you want to be a part of that, please let us know what your favourite songs has been over the last year. Excellent. So, is that it? Yep. You, you took a deep breath, so I thought you were about to say something Well, else. I could have waffled on for ages, but you, you, you've stopped me and it's Enough good. of your waffle, shut up. Right. right. The final track will be... That's me in my place. Hunters, or H-N-T-R-S. Hunters. Because it's a bit like a... Um, only connect clue, isn't it? Yes. Hunters with Hunters. Slash and Burn. They're from Belgium. They are a fresh alternative metal music band. I can tell you that they are on Facebook as Hunters Band, and that's without the vowels again. But the vowel is in band. Do you want to spell so, it? It's probably be easier. H N T R S Band. <laughs> and that's about all I can tell you because they had no bio, but. If I remember correctly, because I did choose this two weeks ago, it has got a bit of an umph to it. So, nice. catch you next week. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Yeah.
Bugcast is streamed live at the Bugcast chat room every Friday at 9.30 p.m. UK time. Join host Dave and Caroline along with the other listeners in the live chat room to join in the fun.
<laughs> Shut up! You were just listening to a member of the Other Side Podcast Network. Find more of our shows at otherside.network. <laughs>